As a wine drinker, you surely have heard of, tasted and drank a lot of Chardonnay. You probably know a lot about this great variety. But did you know that Chardonnay is often referred to as the queen of white grapes? I'm here to tell you why. The most international grape. Chardonnay is a real globe trotter. With over 200,000 hectares planted worldwide, it is the second most widely planted white grape variety, right after Ayren, a grape variety native to Spain. Chardonnay is grown in over 40 countries. Small wonder it is the most talked about grape. Its fame has spread so much that Chardonnay is even used in the United Kingdom as a baby name, thanks to one of the characters from the television show Footballers' Wives. Gives a top of love. The most versatile grape. Chardonnay is easy to grow and it adapts really well to nearly any type of climate. In cooler climates, it makes wines that are crisp and elegant with refreshing acidity, citrus and green apple flavours and mineral character. The perfect example is Chablis from Burgundy. It's a Chardonnay. It is nice. In warm and hot climates, on the other hand, it tends to produce wines that are rich in flavour and mouthfeel, full-bodied, with bold tropical fruits on the palate. Barrel-aged Chardonnay will also take on notes of vanilla, coconut or toast. Some of the classic examples are Chardonnay from Napa Valley in California or Margaret River in Australia. The perfect blank canvas for winemakers. Chardonnay is a special grape variety in that it is really good at expressing the place where it's grown and the techniques used in the winery. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are going to get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. The best Chardonnay I'd ever had in my life. The man who made it? Curtis Murder Dog Williams went on to become one of America's most celebrated vintners. Hey, Joe here. Peter's lying. He drank pee-pee. The grape itself is relatively neutral, but techniques such as oak aging, malolactic fermentation or least stirring all add different layers of flavour and complexity. For that reason, it is said to be a winemaker's grape because it gets many of its hallmark notes of vanilla, toast, cream, biscuit, brioche, from different winemaking methods. As such, it is the perfect canvas for winemakers. I hope you've learned something interesting about Chardonnay in this episode and that Chardonnay will be your next wine choice. Take it easy though, because drinking too much Chardonnay has its consequences. <clears throat> How's the Chardonnay? It is delicious. Good choice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Back in the day I could get lost in a bottle of this stuff. <laughs> One time I woke up in a Best Western hotel with two of the roadies from Counting Crows. <laughs> but I'm sure that won't happen to you. Uh, bon appetit. I hope you found this episode useful. If you did, please hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe. And I see you next time. Bye. With over 200,000 hectares, barrel H Chardonnay will also take a note of... So, so, what? 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 What?